a 54 years old female admitted one week following the cholecystectomy so cholecystectomy operation done one week previously now she present with profuse diarrhea apart from a minor intra-abdominal bile spillage in cute during the removal of the gallbladder the procedure was uncomplicated what is the most likely diagnosis that means a patient undergone cholecystectomy one week back and there is no significant injury or significant abnormalities but patient develop acute watery diarrhea acute watery diarrhea one weeks later one weeks or one weeks later so what is the organism is responsible here the options options are the campylobacter infection e coli infection clostridium difficile infection salmonella infection and pelvic abscess so what may be the answering option so the patient present only diarrhea which is the acute watery diarrhea after the operation so it is very confusing that which is the answer so let's see the different option so this is a complex question first of all this is a complex question that means this diarrhea may develop from the pelvic abscess this may be other options but we have to read very carefully and again uh, the test is too open firstly the bile spill is indication of broad spectrum antibiotic so as the bile is less so there is a broad spectrum antibiotic use and in case of the broad spectrum antibiotic use what is it does it kills the normal flora so broad spectrum antibiotic it usually kills the normal flora of the gastrointestinal system and which is a risk factor for infection by the clostridium difficile so when there is normal flora present in the gut it is protective against the clostridium difficile but when this normal flora is destroyed by antibiotic then the clostridium difficile upper hand and it causes the diarrhea and the disease usually known as the pseudo membrane colitis and we explain that the diarrhea is post antibiotic administration that means the diarrhea occurs after antibiotic administration it is by the clostridium difficile so antibiotic are not routinely used in case of the uncomplicated cholecystectomy but here the as there is the bile spillage so the broad spectrum antibiotic use indication for administration of broad anti spectrum antibiotic include the intraoperative bile splits so when there is intraoperative bile splits in this condition broad spectrum antibiotic is suggested delayed will be accepted following bile spill are extremely rare since the most surgeon will manage this intraoperatively so bile spills it is not enough for making the pelvic abscess and so pelvic abscess usually not offer so what is the most likely diagnosis in case of the watery diarrhea after the cholecystectomy procedure it is by the clostridium difficile infection other options here such as the campylobacter infection it is not true e coli infection it can also cause the acute watery diarrhea but not postoperative salmonella infection and the pelvic abscess in case of the pelvic abscess there is clinical feature also different there it should be a uh, lower abdominal pain there is tense tender in the lower abdomen but in this clinical fissure there is no such type of fissure so this is not pelvic abscess so our final answer is the clostridium difficile infection so when there is any type of the diarrhea after using the broad spectrum antibiotic the diagnosis is clostridium difficile infection which is the pseudomembrane nas colitis and what are the treatment option for this the treatment option is tablet metronidazole so metronidazole is enough for treating this clostridium difficile infection thank you